All right, let's try to get out of the storm. It should be somewhere over. Whoa, what's that? Okay, that is a person. It's a black uniform, so it's definitely not silicon. What is this? It's obviously a person. There you are, being consumed by the ground. It's not a silicon space industries uniform. That much is obvious. It's a black uniform. Maybe it's this drones. I'm not sure. What's in here? Oh. This is a silicon space industries gun. Yeah, let's, uh, I mean, this is the right ammo, too. That's silicon space industries tech, so. Endoskeletal drone 227 mission logs. Uh. I'm assuming this may be in another language, so I'm good. The computer, please, please translate it. All right, let's, I'm gonna take it. Okay, planet, Alfheimer, so that's what this planet's called. Sector 7-28, northwest quarter. So we're in the north hemisphere, and we're in the west hemisphere. Sector 7-28, maybe latitude, longitude? Maybe? I'm not sure, but I don't know where to base the latitude and longitude from, so... Orders. Secure monolith signature. Whenever the universal translator does that, it means it's inferring something for a word we do not have. Searching sector for monolith signature. Monolith signature located. Searching for form of identification. Identified as SSI Iridon. We just came from there. And he... Or it, I guess, just came from there as well. Unknown faction identified as Silicon Space Industries. That's us. Monolith tracked a system identified as Sol. Planet Sol 4 slash Mars. Searching for astronomical data pertaining to location of Sol. Constellation data found. Locating constellations relative to Sol. Located. Sol track to Milky Way galaxy Midgard sector. Okay, so what I'm getting from that is that they found data for our constellations in the ship's computers, and then tried to figure out where, in whatever galaxy, that constel those constellations would all be visible, I assume? They located it, they obviously succeeded, tracked it to our galaxy, the Midgard sector. If I'm not wrong, Midgard comes from Norse mythology for Earth. And this planet, Alfheim, which comes from Norse mythology. That's interesting. Transmitting to Hive Carrier. Confiscated Tar-21, that's where they got the SSI weapon. Scanning roster, one personnel unaccounted for. Name, that's me. Rank, yeah, that's definitely me. Other 11 crew confirmed deceased. Four others killed by Harrow Drone. Well, just great. I'm alone on the planet. Hive carrier is collecting bodies for species analysis. So they definitely don't know who we are. Engaging combat mode. Okay. Under attack by Alf Hounds. Term 227. I presume this means that he was... Or it, I guess. That drone 227 terminated. And that's what happened here. Maybe I should get out of here. There's a lot of uh, wolves, if I'm not mistaken. If they can take down a, a drone, they could probably take me down. Though I do have this new gun, which is way better than the uh, MR-20. That's why we made these. These are meant to phase these out, but they haven't completely phased them out yet. Now, first order of business. I should probably make a GPS point. Mm, what should I call this base? That works. Let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Okay. It is time to quickly start assembling some of the things we will need. Uh, I could probably put... I could probably put the oxygen generator here. Conveyor it up to the connector so that it, this is actually connected. It doesn't just serve the purpose of giving this thing power. And then defenses would probably want to be like around here. I'm going to quickly draft out where I want the defenses, actually. Because I've got plenty of, uh, you know, steel plates. Uh, yep, okay. It's on the right grid mode. 
I remember that from last time. Now I should be able to do this. Okay, that should be that. Let me go ahead and quickly. What do I do with this? Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna throw it into the cargo bay, just so. What about this? You know, we'll keep that on me right now. If any drones come, I can probably deal with them with ease, honestly. Not drones, uh, wolves. I don't know if I could really deal with drones that easily, unless they're endoskeletal drones. But a large drone might be a bit more of an issue. Like, I mean, it could probably take out this entire base just by hitting this. Which isn't too big of an issue as long as they don't actually damage that. And we got some resources from our salvaging mission. Okay. Congratulations, we just got struck by lightning. Thor's after me or something. Do I have Vulcans? Hold on. Oh, I actually forgot to add the Vulcan mod. Uh, quick, uh, quick intermission real quick. Alright, I just had to quickly... Uh, breaking fourth wall real quick, I went ahead and got the mods that I forgot to add. Aiden might be a better idea because okay never mind there's okay. I was about to say I think this this would be a bit more cheap because I heard it's way worse. Wait hold on these are all the same price. And there's a little David we can ignore that. There's a static Vulcan gun. We're going to place it. We're going to quickly weld it. And we're not gonna have enough materials. Except I do have enough materials. So if I click this, it's not actually enough materials, but it's getting there. I may have to quickly go over to the Eridani and quickly scavenge some grids and tubes. You know what, yeah. Okay, well, time to go uh, to the Eridani. I'm just going to cut and come back with all the stuff I needed. All right, we are uh, we're back. We've got all the resources I need for an aid, and as a matter of fact, it's all in my resource in my inventory. We did damage this on the way down. Now here's the next issue. I'm gonna need to build a thing called an assembler. That is an. What happened to that panel? It's made of metal. Okay. Okay, assembler. I think we can make one. I want to make an industrial one because it looks cooler, but... Oh, actually, right there would be nice. Alright. We're back and the assembler has been completed. Well, it'd be nice if I actually get up there. Hold on. You can access that. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we've basically finished for today. We've got some upgrades. We got this. Oh, it's this. We can only afford like three. Yeah, we can only afford three of those. Let me quickly get some more stone. That's, I'm, I'm not even going to bother recording that. All right, we've got the stone. Now I should be able to make the rest of that ammo. That's the basic assembler. I need the industrial one. Perfect. We now have... Aiden ammo. It goes straight in. I can't control it, but I think I can control it from here. It doesn't seem to work. Oh yeah, it works. Okay. It's got a couple hundred rounds in it, so we're good. Basically, that should defend us from any form of drone attack. I don't think it's going to defend us from like a full-scale drone attack. But it should be able to defend us from something like a couple drone scouts. I mean, let me check its range. A thousand meters? Yeah, we'll, we'll be okay for a little bit. That's almost halfway to the Aridania's range. It's pretty nice. I think it can reach all the way across the lake. Which means we have an advantage if they try to attack us. Oh, well, other than that, 
I don't think there's much else to do other than maybe fix this. I'll fix that off screen. Anyway, I guess it's time to go to bed. It's who has been a long day. Scavenged the Eridani like three times. Got some interesting information though. This should be a nice bed right here. Actually, up here is probably the best place to sleep. It looks the most comfortable. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to sleep now.